Hi, my name is Ann Wool. I'm a pediatric physical therapist at Emerge Pediatric Therapy, and today we are going to be talking about sandals for kids. We are going to go over some characteristics to look for, whether you're shopping online or you're going to a store. I'm going to give you a couple of tips um, to remember when you're shopping. So I have two sandals here that we're going to talk about um, as we go through features. So I have a Keen sandal and I have a Cat and Jack from Target. Um, one of the things that I really like about both of these shoes is that they give you a heel cup. So if you look at this one, you see this kind of thick bottom and you can see that here's this indent. So it gives your heel a little bit more of stability. The Keen sandal, it's a little bit harder to see in here, but it does the same. So it has a really nice thick sole and then the heel cup does a nice job of kind of coming all the way around the heel so that your kiddo's foot can kind of stay in place. The other thing that these have in common is that they have a heel strap. So something that goes around the heel to kind of keep that heel stable and in place. So this one is gonna give you a little bit more than this one, but both of them are gonna give you a significant amount more stability than something like a flip-flop or um, something that doesn't have a strap along the back. So big things that you're looking for in any sandal is gonna be a heel cup that gives a little bit of support and a heel strap. The other thing that you really want to consider is kind of the way that the shoe is gonna stay on your child's foot. So even as adults, when your foot is moving around a lot in a shoe, we know that that's giving us less support and stability. It is especially important for kids to have stability in their shoes when they are new walkers, toddlers, kids that already have a more difficult time with walking or kids that have an increased amount of falls, we want to give all of them a little bit more support and stability, even when we're thinking about sandals. Um, again, this one is a Cat Jack from Target from last year. Um, and then this one is a Keen. Um, when we're looking at price points, this one is going to be kind of your cheaper option. I think this one was a around a $15 range. Um, the Keen is definitely a more expensive one. I think these range closer to 60, um, but a great tip for the more expensive sandal is getting them as a hand-me-down. A lot of times they have more life in them than just one kiddo. Um, so if you can find them on Facebook Marketplace, you can find them, um, if you buy them for an older child and then save them to use them for your younger kids, um, they definitely will withstand more than just one child generally. Um, unless somehow your kiddo gets multiple summers out of a pair of shoes, um, which is unlikely for most of our kids, I think. So these would be two great pairs of shoes to look for. The other option, if you're having a hard time finding a sandal or your kid needs more stability, or maybe they're in an orthotic and sandals just aren't working for you, would be looking for water shoes. So this is a water shoe. It's a Cat and Jack brand. Um, it has a mesh kind of upper here. It's still pretty flexible and lightweight, but it is gonna give more stability and support than most sandals will. Um, and it is can get wet. You could wear this kind of anywhere that you could wear a sandal. Um, the look is gonna be different, but I think one thing to remember when you're shoe shopping for your kids is that we really want to be more concerned about the function of the shoe and how that supports your child versus kind of the fashion of the shoe, even though the fashion piece is more fun. Um, so a water shoe could also be a really good fit for a child that has an orthotic or that needs maybe a little bit more support than even these types of sandals can give you, um, then a water shoe would be another option to look for. That could also be a great thing for, you know, you're sending your kid to daycare and they're going to be in the shoe for a long period of time. A water shoe might be a better fit for something like that. Um, the piece, the other piece to remember with any sandal is that sandals can be great for short walks, for you know wearing around during the day, for going to an event, but if you're gonna be with your kid at the park and playing for a significant amount of time, um, opting for a sneaker, a tennis shoe, something that gives kind of generally more support is gonna be probably your better option because again, we really wanna think about the fact that we are, they're still building kind of those intrinsic foot muscles, they're building their arch muscles, they are working on all of that. So we wanna give them the ability to have support and stability while they're doing that. Um, the things we wanna stay away from are something that is really flat, doesn't give us a lot of support. So a flimsy sandal or flip-flop are generally the things we wanna stay away from in our kids. 
um, especially when they're really little or if your child has a flat foot. So these would all be some good options to try. Um, if you try any of these, please let us know. We can um, put some links in for the shoes that we talked about today. That way you can find them. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.